If you don't know how to lay your drums in Logic Pro's drum machine designer, then this video is for you. Let's jump straight into it. So now that we're here in Logic Pro, you want to open up an instrument track and you want to load the drum machine designer on that instrument track. Select your instrument, scroll down to drum machine designer, and you will get this window, this drum machine designer window, which is an empty kit. You have a drop down menu here. When you start loading samples, all of these tracks will start populating. So let me show you how you can layer your drums. It's very simple, especially with the drum machine designer. If you want to get that MPC feel. So we're going to grab some kicks. And if you don't have no sounds, I'll leave the link in the description so you can grab all of these sounds. Let me just go through them real quick. This is the 808. So those are the sounds, but I'm going to just show you how we could just layer all of the kicks. So what you want to do is drag your kicks to the pads. It doesn't matter which pad, but I like all my kicks on the first four pads. So that way when I'm playing on it on the drum machine or the pad machine, uh, all my kicks is right there at the bottom. So we got the first kick, we got the second kick, we got the third kick, and now we got the fourth kick. I'm going to play the sounds off my MIDI keyboard. So you can see that's only playing one kick. So in order for you to get to layer all of these kicks, they first all have to be on the same note. You see this one is on note C1. So change the rest of them to C1. So now that they're all on C1, essentially now all of the kicks are going to play. But let me just show you a real quick trick of how we could actually layer these drums to make it sound nice within a beat. Now there's going to be different variations. You're going to have to play with this. I'm going to just randomly pick these velocity levels so that way I could demonstrate how you can layer these sounds. So the first kick, what you want to do is expand out the track and you want to look for velocity limits. You see this right here, velocity limits. You want to look for velocity limits. So what we're going to do is set different velocities for each one of these tracks. So for this first track, I'm going to go, let's say one to seven press enter then we're gonna go to the second track and let's just say i don't know 70 to 100 let's say and then this one we're gonna say 100 to 115 these numbers are all random i just want to show you this so we could demonstrate this and then we're gonna go 110 to 127 so now when I press the MIDI keyboard we first have to go back to the empty track select that now when I press the MIDI keyboard I'm I'm gonna get with, with whatever velocity I'm pressing, I'm going to get that drum hit. So if I hit it soft, I'll get the soft drum hit. Hit it a little harder, I get the hard drum hit. Hit it just right, you get all of the drum hits. So this is how you would layer your sounds using a drum machine designer. And you just play with these numbers right here in the velocity limit. You play around with these numbers, get them to sound right. So when you hit in the pad or doing your drumming, you would actually play the actual notes that you want to play when you layer in your sounds. Now, so how to save this, you select the empty track, you scroll down to where it says save right here, click on save, give it a name, drum kit one, whatever you want to do it. It's going to put that in the instrument track. And once you click save, you'll always be able to get back to that. So let me show you how. Add a new software instrument track, click create. We look for the user patches and then we go for drum kit one or the the one that we saved it as once we select that now we have our we have our instruments so that's how you would lay a drum sounds in a drum machine designer. You could do that with, with your snares. You could do that with your hi-hats. You could do that with any sound. You could layer your sounds in drum machine designer, get the MPC fill so you could do your drumming or you could chop up your samples however you choose to chop up your samples. If you have any more questions or if you have any particular questions in Logic Pro or beat making, let me know in the comments. I'm Taurus General. I appreciate the questions. Peace.